me. That. Someone told me that Omar cold cocked his girlfriend. <laughs> no. And that's not on tape? Oh, it probably is. Oh, I hope so. Did they get it on the backstage tapes? I, I think they might have missed that. Uh. <laughs> Well, half the people in the green room are all looking for coke. I know that. Yeah. And half of them found it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're I'm sitting in the makeup room, and all of a sudden, this real strong scent of marijuana comes in. Marijuana, nothing. I tell you, people started singing Hosanna. Ma marijuana was maybe the. <laughs> that was the start of the evening. That was the start of the on, evening. They were getting into the heavier stuff. I got to tell you something. There was one point. I was out looking for coke, <laughs> and I don't even do it because I had to get some of the guests hopped up. Oh. <laughs> that, that stuff makes for weird couples too. Yeah, I know, man. As soon as, as soon as, uh, you're, obviously we can't mention any names. Right. And by the way, I'm not even throwing. Omar was not doing any drugs, so it's, right. because Omar's on like a natural high. Oh. But um, it was kind of weird. At one point, one of the guests came up and needed some drugs. Uh -huh. So, and I was like all for it. So, <laughs> you know, uh, unlike please, <laughs> unlike Nancy Reagan, I was like, yes, please, uh, let me go see if I can dig something up for you. <laughs> Because I think it makes for better better television when the when the uh, when the guests are all drugged out. So um, most of, so I went. I spent about you you didn't see me for about a good hour before the show because right, I was busy hunting down drugs. drugs. And I haven't done them in a while, so I could I didn't even know where to score. Yeah. I'm like standing out in the street trying to score from listeners. <laughs> I was yelling at Gary. Gary, you did I, What did he I say? To, you pulled me into your office. And don't say any names. Who no, I was yeah. getting it for? Pulled me into your office and you said, "Try to find some drugs for certain people." Because mm -hmm. and I, I felt like John Dean. Yeah. Like you were my boss, <laughs> but I knew it was wrong, and I just didn't know what to do. Now he's gonna turn you in. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, what I said to him, I said, "Gary, look, you gotta get your hands on some coke real quick." I said, "We gotta get a couple of guests really hopped up. They're a little, they're a little nervous and wired." Yeah, you can't have Howard go out looking. He'd have asked the cops. Okay. You know? <laughs> he would have been. Look, all... cops, I need, I need a favor. It's a big favor. So just can I say something? Because there are, a lot, there are a couple of things, like I didn't answer the phone and stuff. That was one of the things that I did take care of that you'll never know about. I want you to know. What's that? The way you wanted me to take care of that whole thing, to find some thing, drugs for certain people, yeah. it was taken care of. You got the drugs. Right. Good and man. it got to the proper people. Good. Ah, the Kathy Evans Smith of radio. Yeah, here. well, Gary had it. <laughs> I said, Gary, it's a must. <laughs> I didn't know you'd take me literally. I, well, I, really I took it to people who uh, just right. pointed them in the you right direction. You could tell who had what. Right. A steerer, if you will. A steerer, exactly. <laughs> now I understand. Uh, I, someone could write a book just about that night, like the early Saturday Night Live. Yeah, is that guy from Watergate? <laughs> 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 he should have just been hanging around backstage. Yeah, I want to know how explicit those backstage tapes are going to be. <laughs> Get some more good drug stories. Yeah, and in case you're feeling left out of this, you can order, <laughs> you can order a tape of the uh, TV show at 1-800-52-STERN. Hey.